Women were important at Fort Eno because of their many roles such as cooks, seamstresses, homemakers, and teachers. Women at Fort Reno held the fort down by being dutiful wives, teachers, and workers. They had special training themselves from each other to learn ways of survival on the western frontier. Many women thought the frontier showed how women were equal to men because of the tough circumstances they faced and challenges they had to overcome to keep them and their families alive. The women did the farm work when the men were away. They even had their own gardens for fresh fruits and vegetables. Two brothers, the Evans brothers and Charles Cotton, came right here to Fort Reno and opened up a huge, the biggest in Oklahoma Territory, base exchange, but they called it a post settler at that time. Well, it was pretty much like Walmart is today. It was a one-stop shop, and their motto was, if we, don't, if we don't have it, they don't make it. Well, they, they needed somebody to keep their books, so they called Daddy, and he came, and we all three moved here to Fort Reno. And my job was the assistant bookkeeper, and I also got to tend the rest of the food from growing gardens, and they would use the animals that they had because they didn't. The women were main stakeholders in the menus and productions of the mills. They, they not only had to work around what crops were able to harvest in the season, but be able to work along the Wild West. Toils outnumbered the amount of rewards in Oklahoma gardens with crazy, unpredictable weather, droughts, and ra ravenous wildlife. Okay, so um, I'm talking about housekeepers and nannies. What they had to do, they had to help out with the ba babysitting, cleaning house, um, helping prepare food because some of the fathers had to go to work, the dads had to go to, to the army. And like what they would wear was simple clothes and um, like what they had to like clean was like the dishes and sweep and uh, clean the rooms and make their beds and um, and wash the dishes. Farm chores would be taking care of animals, planting, tending, and harvesting crops. They had to clean all the rooms inside the houses as well as sweeping and cleaning the outside of the house. They would clean the ornaments and antiques, decorations, china, and furniture. They would wash, rinse, dry, and press clothes by hand. Only rich officer wives had housekeeper services. Ordinary women were expected to do all of the chores by themselves. These women were usually young because people didn't live long back then. There was one teacher at Fort Reno for all the grades of kids, grades 1 through 8. They all shared the same schoolhouse. Horn books were used in school as their textbooks. Teachers lived with their students' families and were expected to help out. They would clean, prepare, heat, and decorate their classrooms to fit all the students' needs. They used a wood-burning stove to keep warm. During the summer, they would use fans, but didn't usually have school during the summer months because of harvest time. Students would wear calico dresses and the boys would wear button down shirts and overalls. Hairstyles were slaked with water, and girls would wear braids, and teens would wear curls. They would curl their hair by using strips of rags or paper. There were teachers at Fort Reno because there were very important people there, and the kids had to be taught, right? And the teachers would not be paid until the end of the school year because if the teachers backed out, 
There was no kids in my classroom, grades one through eight in the same room. Taught reading, writing, arithmetic. We had spelling bees, we went on plays and recitals. It was my job as the teacher to keep the classroom clean and keep the fire in the fireplace in the winter. If the weather was nice, I might take the students outside and let them do their lessons in the dirt. But most of the time we were in the classroom using chalkboards or boards and a piece of really bad, they would hit girls on the wrist with ruler and discipline boys by whipping them. Um, teachers would not be allowed to get married because they wouldn't be given time off to have Nannies were women who helped out with babies, children, farm, and housework. Not everyone had nannies, only the rich, important people, the generals, officers, and special guests. When people were sick, they were hospitalized in a particular attic at Fort Reno. The nurse would keep them in the attic and take care of them, away from the kids that weren't sick. Nannies would wear simple clothes and aprons to be able to do all kinds of tasks. Nannies would live in the house with the families in very tiny rooms. Some women were even known to take over their deceased husband's cavalry positions to keep the family income. Of course, if they were caught in this position, punishment was prison. Women's roles 100 years ago are similar to roles they still do today, but much more difficult without the help of modern technology and machines today. In closing, women at Fort Reno did everything from preparing food, keeping the home for the family, raising children and teaching them all subjects. I liked learning about women's roles at Fort Reno because I learned that women worked just as hard or harder than men.